Now, India is all set to take on Australia ahead of that third one day in Rajkot. That's scheduled to take place tomorrow. And uh, India has an unassailable 2 nil lead. Now, let's take a look at some key updates from both camps. India has checked all the boxes when it comes to the batting and the bowling. Now, Mohammad Shami was, uh, came good in the first one day with a fifer. The second saw a run fest thanks to Shubman, Shreyas and Surya Kumar. All three of them really hitting the stride ahead of the World Cup. And of course, the Indian spinners too dug deep. Ashwin's performance giving the selectors much to think about and some more headaches to solve before the World Cup begins. And for Australia, it has not been a happy hunting ground. Coming from a 3-2 loss against South Africa, despite leading 2-0, they are now down to facing the battle against India in this series. The preparation to World Cup has not gone according to plan. A lot of teams peak during a big tournament. So that is something that Australia will be telling themselves. But there are a few concerns. The batting especially, especially that of the top order, that has not been consistent. And the absence of Travis Head there is telling on the team combination. The bowling too has looked below par. Some of their key bowlers haven't had much time under the belt, especially in the longest format, and will have little time to get their sync going. Australia will have two warm-up games lined up, one against Netherlands, that's going to be on the 30th of September in Tirunanthapuram, and the second against Pakistan in Hyderabad on the 3rd of October. Now, both teams address the media ahead of the decider. Let's listen in. Obviously, the priority is the World Cup, so um, if that means we have to be mindful of tomorrow, that's one thing, but we'll see how today goes, see how I pull up in the morning. Um, the goal is to play tomorrow, but what that looks like will depend on how today goes, the priority being the World Cup and not compromising that. Yeah, Glenn's obviously one that's come back as well. Um, he's here today for training. He, he's, uh, I think he's on track as well. I'm not sure um, his particular timeline, but um, no doubt he'll be, be looking to, to make an impact as soon as he gets his, his chance. He's got a wealth of experience over here through IPL, through multiple tours. He's, a, he's certainly an X factor, no matter which team he plays in. So, um, of course, this is his third, third One Day World Cup. Um, so, yeah, look, he's certainly an X factor for us. He's someone who can really take the game on. His ability with the ball, particularly in these conditions as well. So, yeah, it's still obviously leading into a World Cup. It's not a position that we, we want to be in. He's down in series, but um, plenty to play for tomorrow in, in terms of what our makeup of the team looks like, what we want to take into a, to a World Cup campaign. Um, you know, we've still got two opportunities after this game before four game on the World Cup. So another chance to, to be accustomed to conditions, um, to adapt to what's been thrown at us against, um, you know, probably the favourites of the World Cup. So, uh, yeah, look, it's a, it's a big day for, for both teams tomorrow. Discussions going on around games, around training, um, pretty much just in the background. Nothing formalised as yet, you know, probably think our execution's been a bit off um, with bat and ball and in the field, so certainly areas we can improve. Um, probably our, our power play bowling as well. Um, as I said again, there's, there's been guys that have been uh, exposed to, to conditions that have been very foreign to them, guys that have been to India for the first time, guys playing, you know, uh, coming into uh, guys that have been more experienced, less experienced in the, in the format, so um, a good, good opportunity for, for a lot of guys, guys coming back from, from some time out. Um, so yeah, I think uh, another opportunity tomorrow to improve on, on where we've been at and, and obviously death bowling is part of that. A lot of players uh, who are sick, not available, a lot of, lot of players have uh, personal problems, so they've gone home and few of the guys are rested as well. So uh, we've got 13 players at this point in time. Aksar obviously is not available for this game. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've got only 13 players to choose from. So, and there's a bit of viral going around in the team as well. So, there's a lot of uncertainty in the team at this point, uh, which we cannot help. Uh, but yeah, but uh, looking at you know uh, the next few weeks, it's quite important for us to look after the players and their well-beings. Uh, so. It's okay for them to be home at this point in time, but you know uh, the reason being obviously we want everybody to be fresh uh, during the World Cup, and hopefully they can come back fresh. Uh, I mean, I, I'm very happy with the last 10 ODIs we played. A uh, lot of 
of guys, uh, you know, came back into the form, uh, scoring lots of runs, uh, and the bowlers taking lots of wickets. Um, in the last, you know, few games we saw, uh, you know, guys who have come back from injury as well. Uh, they've proven their fitness. Uh, so pretty much, you know, settled at this point in time with how we stand, where we stand. Uh, so it's just about now taking this whole situation of the team forward uh, in a best possible way. Ashwin, uh, you know, he's, he's, got, he's got the class, he's got the experience of playing the sport uh, <clears throat> and handling the pressure. Uh, it's just that he hasn't played ODIs in the last uh, year or so, uh, you know. But you cannot take away the class and the experience that uh, the individual has over the years. And uh, in the last couple of games, we saw how well he bowled. Uh, he's got a lot of variation up his sleeves. Uh, and yeah, uh, you know, in case there is a chance, obviously, uh, you know, we can look at a lot of things. Uh, so hopefully, you know, the way things are at this point in time, it, it, it does well for us uh, because we've got all the backups and everything ready as well. We've given them enough game time. A lot of time in the middle as well, uh, so pretty much happy with how things have planned out in the last couple of weeks. Well, all eyes will surely be on this match before action, as they say, shifts over to the World Cup.